this ground when I got here. Dry earth cracked and bleached underfoot, low brush reaching down for mercy rather than up for rain. Tangled around my ankles, a flurry of tiny claws, dull and pale, scratching the bark, ear shattering in the noonday siesta of the desert. I resist the urge to flinch, but flinch nonetheless. A sky so white, so searing, I looked up once an hour ago and have not looked up since. Air so still and so burning, I am sure that the world has stopped its turning, and I would not be surprised to find that so. But I was caved in winter, my freon veins thick and heavy under my skin. There was no light for a hundred days. There were no stars for ten more days than that. An ice flow, a fathom from my small fire and I, sits motionless still against its intention. And so I was the one fighting the lack of friction of my feet upon the ice, promising my frostbitten heart that we would find the sun.